welcome to my science lab and today I'm coming up with another fun experiment for you guys it's time for experiment number two let's get right on to it so the ingredients you'll be needing for this experiment is a glass of water oil this blue spoon that they gave you and this little measuring cup and what is this thing called? I don't know, but you'll need this. And this red color. And the stirring stick. Of course, you'll also need this. We don't need the cap, so take it off. And you'll also need baking soda. And citric acid. So to do this experiment, you'll need to pour a glass of water, just 10 ml. Oh no, it's 15. Yep, there's 10 ml. 10, 10 ml. To slowly pour this into the container. Next, you'll need these um, um, red drops. Open the cap and just add two drops. One and two. There we go. Ooh, it's getting ready. <laughs> okay, then take the stirring stick and mix them up to make a good red. Next, take the ferno, keep it here, and you'll need baking soda, half spoon. Make sure to add half spoon or half scoop. That's too less. Okay, put it in and shake it so all of the baking soda can go in. Perfect. And now let's keep this back here and let's take 20 ml of oil. We'll take the spoon and add it in. Here is the oil. So they did not mix together. You can see that. Now we're going to take this again, put it in the same position, and add citric acid. Take the spoon. That's quite enough. So this is a much better way, guys. You can add it with the spoon. Whoa! like water filling juice. Whoa. Look at all those bubbles in there. Whoa. This is amazing. So this experiment is called a volcano. This is just like the last experiment we did. So I had so much fun making this experiment. I And I think this is the best experiment that I saw so it is awesome and I was really shocked and look the bubbles are moving now too so thank you for watching today's video please like share and subscribe and I'll see you with another experiment or see you in my next video bye